How are you? Good. 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 Yeah. How was your day on the GT Fury, Rupert? Mm. I didn't worry. I wanted to go downhill. I was in a hurry, so I rode the Fury. <laughs> 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 right. We leave the limericks and whatnot for the Irishman there. Well, or is that, that was well put, you know. I don't know where you're from, but that's, um, that was really well done. Now, um, with all that said, what were your impressions of the Fury? Well, I really liked it. I did too. Yeah. Um, when I first sat on it, I thought it would be a bit long. Um, and typically, I don't like long bikes. Um, but I really liked how the chainstays complemented the front end of the bike because I found that it was really poppy, but I still had that slack at the front end to keep my control. Um, I don't know, did you feel the same? Or? Yeah, they, they put a lot of that length up at the front, eh? Yeah. yeah. Up no, at the front. <laughs> <laughs> no, they put a lot of that length up at the front, haven't they? It's, it's a similar wheelbase to a lot of the other bikes, but it's very long in the front, a little bit shorter in the rear. It means I felt there was a lot of stability and confidence. It's a big, yeah. big yeah. cockpit, lots of, lots of room to move around in there, get some control. Yeah. Standover height was a bit higher than I'd like, so that kind of fouled up a bit of I like, think, I, yeah, I, I had a feeling you were gonna say that, but I think that, like for me, I really liked it, but you're shorter than I am. I'm around six feet. And for me, it, it was perfect. I felt like this bike is designed like, going straight, I loved it. I thought it was great. And like, that's what I feel like it, where it excels. And I thought it did really well in the corners too for how long it was. Absolutely. Uh, I felt more comfortable on it because of that, that longer top team that I thought, right, this is a downhill bike that actually does somewhat fit me more so than other bikes. And it was a medium and um, I felt pretty good on it right away. In fact, I, feel, I felt comfortable enough on it to, um, to ride it pretty hard. And yeah. I like that about it. I'll be, I did wad myself on, on this bike pretty good. Yeah, you did. So um, the second half of my run was at a little slower speed than the first half. Yeah. <laughs> Well, your nose case that yeah, happens yeah. to the best of us, right? right? Indeed. But this is probably not a better bike the nose case on. That thing is burly. Burly. Yeah. And yeah. Having, having that 40 at the front saved you too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Indeed. Now, what was up with the, the noise with the derailleur? What was going on with that? Uh, well, it well, has to be said, the bike that we had has is, is been from the demo fleet, so it's been very, 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 very hard road before this. Yeah. And it did sound like a, like a bag of wrenches being thrown out of a helicopter. Yeah. It was a mess, that bike. The it chain was noisy. slap was everywhere, yeah. and I, I have to mark GT down for not providing chain chainstay protectors at all. Yeah, it was just horrible. Yeah, uh, I the, would the definitely be making bike. my own on that bike immediately. Yeah. and we had a bit of an issue with the wheel set. Right. Well, before we talk about that, we'll say where it came in the price. Really competitively priced, forty seven hundred. Yeah. 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 A lot of bike. That is a bargain, right? That thing. We all liked how it rode. The spec on it was fairly well thought out. And yes, when we did ride it hard, actually, when you rode it hard, you managed to bad jacks both wheels. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I did. I don't know, those, those E13 wheels, I don't know. They just felt really soft to me. Yeah. Um, and I've never ridden E13 wheels yeah. before, so. We, we saw some two big, big flat spots yeah. in the sidewalls, which kind of like rim over, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry to GT for that. <clears throat> yeah, sorry. Well. With the rest of the said, rest of the components on there, like the the Shimano Z drivetrain, yeah, is amazing. Great, yeah. it Fantastic. makes me question why anyone would buy Saint unless they were really, really, really picky. Yeah, the Z stuff is excellent. It's excellent, yeah. And at that price point, yeah, you know, I have a little bit of room to upgrade my wheels if I need to. Right. Which you actually need to. I need to, yeah. <laughs> yes. I'm sure. I'm sure the higher end models have have upgraded wheels. I would yes. hope that they're stronger. Um, and I'm sure the uh, the higher end models have same components as well. So. Yeah. Right. Overall. Well, are you going to win the, the World Cup overall on this, or are you going to win Rampage? Neither. <laughs> <laughs> that do. Um, yeah. Well, I just uh, I like the bike. Yeah. And um, at that price, it's hard not to like that bike. In fact, that bike is pretty high on the list. I'd say that's a good riding bike and a good price. And uh, yeah, shit hot. <laughs>